and welcome back to a new edition of Hopping with Mama Sue. Today, what I'm making for you guys in the kitchen is something I like to call a honey glazed sauteed pork chop, okay? This is a quick and simple recipe and it's easy to do, quick and simple, like 30 minutes and you're done. Let's get so, started. What we would need for this particular recipe is some salt. We're going to need some cayenne pepper, some ground ginger, some garlic and pepper mixed um, that I mixed my season together. Now we're going to need some rice vinegar. We're going to need some soy sauce, some olive oil to sear the pork chops. We're going to need some honey and some minced ginger. Now, you can either buy the minced ginger, already minced, or you can get some fresh ginger root and grate it. Till it gets real mince, almost like a baby texture uh, puree. What you want to do is get yourself some paper towel. These are already pre cleaned with some cool water and some salt to, you know, for the abrasion of cleaning these pork chops. You always want to clean it and clean your hands before you do anything. So these paper towel is to pat dry these pork chops because I want the season. To just sit into these this meat before we begin to sear it. Yeah. Pat dry these pork chops. We're gonna begin by seasoning them. Now y'all know I do not use a whole bunch of salt, but I'm just sprinkling generously the salt all over. You guys, you are in your own kitchen, right? And you know your own taste buds. So I can't tell you how much season to use on your meat. All I can tell you is, do not be afraid to season. Because if you're afraid to season, guess what? Your food is going to be bland. So that's some Kanye. We're going to go in with some ground ginger. And you guys, I mentioned in my last video about um, this young lady by the name of Empress. She is a boss. And I need you guys to go follow Boss Bougie, okay? On Instagram. Check her out. I'm going to leave her information down in the description box below. Some well-seasoned meat. Because Mama Sue don't play that. Ain't that right, Papa? All right. <laughs> I want that flavor in there. Now that your meat is all seasoned, now we go to the next step, which is the saute. And I'll be right back. All right, so this step is we are going to begin to saute the um, pork chop. So you want to already have your um, pan preheated. Uh, while you were seasoning your meat, and you want your oven preheated because after we saute, we're going to glaze it and then we're going to stick it in the oven for at least about 10 15 minutes to let the juices marinate. We got some olive oil here, right? We're going to put a little bit in because it gets, it, gets, it gets going when you get it going. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the old pan when you see it because that old pan has been through the ringer. They have done a lot of cooking. Now, you see this little stubborn pork chop? Don't want to come up off the pan. Mm -hmm. It's trying to hold back. It said, don't eat meat. It gets nice and caramelized on each side for a good three to four minutes. It's going to do the rest of the cooking. Because normally it only takes about 30 minutes to cook pork chop. On the stove, we got some cabbage, some steamed cabbage. Mm hmm. Compliments of Papa Bear. That's right. We got some cornbread. Yes, that's going to compliment Papa Bear. He made that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, over here, we got some Spanish rice. This is what we're going to pair that pork, beautiful pork chop with. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, some Spanish rice. So, this is how it's going to look when you first caramelize the um, other half of the pork chop. And you can check it ever so often. You just want to get that little bit of brown caramelization going on on your meat. I'm going to use the bits that is in the pan 
for my glaze. Be right. Okay, so we're back, and this is our uh, caramelized um, pork chops. Now it's ready to be glazed. Now we're going to do our glaze. Step on over here with some of this ginger and soy sauce that we're going to put in this here pot. <laughs> I got to be comical. Now you want to turn your stove down something like a salt paste. Well, it is a salt paste, but like a stir fry. I'm going to move quick at this point. So it's all the ginger. Get that going. Pull in your vinegar. Keep it stirring. Keep it stirring. Okay, now you're going to go in with your honey. I'm carefully getting up all that leftover seed honey out of there. Cook down for just a minute or two. Let it get real nice and sticky like kind of. It's not going to be super thick but it's going to be uh, a little bit thicker than this. So just let it do its thing for about a minute or two. Don't leave your glaze, okay? We don't want no burnt glaze on top of our pork chops. <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, the glaze is done. Now it's time. And please, you don't have to do it my way. You can just take your spoon and do it like that. But I'm so used to this thing. So, anyway, I'm going to pour some of this glaze on top and see how thick it is. It's not really extremely thick, but thick enough to be a glaze to go over your chops. Take a spoon, just to make sure I'm covering all of my chops. Just like that. Pretty simple, easy to the point. I'm going to leave the measurements or my guesstimates <laughs> down in the description box below. Okay, so we make sure all our chops are covered, flavored throughout, you guys. Oh my God, when y'all taste it, ooh, you know it's popping. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, now pop it in the oven for a good 10 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees and you got it made. And then also another tip, if you want that extra caramelization on top of your pork chops, turn your oven on broil and watch it for about a good three minutes to get that little extra crisp on top. So see you when it's all finished. Go. Hey, you guys, dinner is complete. Here it is. The end result of this lovely pork chop, I put it in the oven for a good 11 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Then on broil for a good 2 to 3 minutes. Just so it to get a nice caramelization of extra crust on top of it. You guys, it's all well put together, you guys. Just look at it. It's so lovely, so lovely. But anyway, you guys, if you love this video, give it a great big thumbs up. And like, share, and subscribe to each and everybody that you know. Let them know what Poppin' with Mama Sue is doing in her kitchen. And until next time, love you guys. Peace.